yet more measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus outbreak. Everyone entering the Beijing subway system is checked for symptoms, and subway cars are disinfected every hour. Still concerned about infection, some head out anyway. I'm really afraid that the virus might infect me or my family members. I'm supposed to go back to work in a few days, and my son will go back to school soon. I need to go to work. I have no other choice. If I didn't need to work, I will definitely stay at home, keep wearing the mask and keep washing the hands. This is one of several long-distance bus stations here in the capital, Beijing. They are all closed now. That's because the government is concerned because the bus system is less regulated than high-speed rail and the airlines. So they're concerned that they can't track people or where they traveled from. But it's not just in the capital. Other cities have begun to restrict long-distance transportation. Shandong province will suspend all inner-city and interprovincial buses. Some neighborhoods on the outskirts of Beijing are sealed off because of suspected coronavirus infection. All wildlife trade is now banned across China. The coronavirus was traced to a seafood market in Wuhan that was illegally selling wildlife. We have taken preventative control measures in Wuhan as our top priority, and we have set up a frontline working group to guide the local authorities in relevant efforts. We have closed relevant markets in speedy manners to tighten control of illegal breeding, transportation, trading and consumption of wildlife or wild animals. While the central government has elevated the control over the virus to the highest level, there's a growing call for the local government in Wuhan to be replaced because of the way it handled the outbreak. And overcrowding hospitals there continue to plea for more supplies and staff. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Beijing.